Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Go Pikachu. We just made it to Pewter City. Um, I accidentally started streaming instead of recording. That was embarrassing. Um, but yeah, our rival Butt Butt just gave us a bunch of potions. I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Pokemon and uh, yeah, there's not too much to do in this city. I do wanna look around to see what, uh, just see what cool things there are in here. This is my like second time to Pokemon Center. These are so nice. trying to avoid um, perpetuating any memes of like uh, of these things I'm trying to kind of create my own content so while yes I could go into the whole spe spiel about maybe nurse joys being evil and really wants to us to or wants our Pokemon to get hurt I, I kind of doubt it but I don't need to go into that right now all right welcome to <laughs> 50 bucks for kids I'm a kid sure uh, and yeah, welcome to the museum. There's a Kabutops, an Aerodactyl, <gasps> an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. Um, but one thing I actually really like about this is the upstairs. They have like uh, kind of like some moons. These are moonstones, apparently. Uh, here's like a map of uh, of our universe, which is cool. And then my favorite part, space. They got like a space shuttle and like this is kind of deep to go into or I guess not too deep but like it's really cool that in the museum in this video game they have like the creation of the uni of the universe and everything like that so it's not just Pokemon stuff like they're doing actual science in this place too also my birds just following me around and I can get them stuck on stuff eh. anyway but I thought that was really cool so I just want to show that to you guys um a space exhibit. Now, what would be really cool is if uh, in this game they decided, like, with updates that they're going to be obviously doing to the day to the game, that eventually they could they could just change what was upstairs because it has no real impact on the game, but it'd just be kind of a cool thing. It's just an idea. Probably they're probably not going to. Um, I'm gonna watch this lady slow poke because she gives me something. Do you think you could do me a favor? Okay, I'm not gonna do that voice, but she wants to go to the museum. Okay, I'll do a voice. I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Puck. Do you think you can keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Sure. Oh, thank you very much. Please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. And I like this animation right here. <laughs> He's not going anywhere while I'm here. <laughs> It's so intense. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to stare at it. Sure, why not? Alright, and so now the real reason we're here in Pewter City. Actually, I've never, I don't think I've talked to her. Oh, yes, I have. Never mind. Um, now, for the real reason we're here in Pewter City. The Pewter City Gym. So one thing really cool about this is look at those spectators up on the top. I think that's a nice touch. Here's the guy is like the champ. You're the champ to be. Let's get started. Type matchups or water type Pokemon. See, I like that that in this. They, they make it so, so obviously I've played the game a lot I know exactly what what's going on but they make it easy for people who are new to the series who don't who haven't played this for 15 years of their life to know what to do in this situation so let me just switch up my party really quick uh, one of the big things that I do want to get through uh, get through today is this gem so I'm gonna go ahead and battle everybody with my outish trainers here are a bit different from those you faced so far. Should I keep doing voices, guys? What do you think? I'll, I'll do it for right now, but I might not in the future. It's kind of embarrassing when I don't get a good voice. Right. And so, um, I'm kind of going to fast forward through these. I don't really need to showcase them, but there you are. It's you know, a Pokemon battle. Eh, pretty 
simple. Grass type Pokemon overpowered. Oh, that is one thing. Gym lead or gym trainers do not give you Pokeballs for beating them. So, ten thousand light years from facing. Bro oh, that was another thing. So they have very similar, um, very similar voice lines to what they used to say. And while it's like the layout of the gym is mostly the same, and a lot of this, you know, they have updated it, but it, it's kind of like got that good nostalgic feeling about from the voice lines. And I'm just gonna one hit this Geodude because grass type Pokemon. Oh, Here we go. So quick, uh, quick battle through the gym because I have a Pokemon that can one-shot all of them. And here's Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. Wahaha! -ha. You're gonna challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. And that's the pose that he did in the original, and then red and blue, and yellow. But I didn't play yellow, I had, I had blue. So this one, it's actually level 11. So I'm like, oh, so coming up, after after this you dude, I want to show you guys something. So uh, most of the time we've been, we've been facing same size Pokemon, which is fine. Uh, I, I mean, obviously it's fine, it's, it's just part of the game. Also, that was hilarious. But... They actually have implemented sizes into the game. So now that he's going to send out... Oh, after the level up happens. And if I get any... There we go. Of course. Alright, here we go. So now, he's going to send out Onyx. Uh, no. Because this is easy. And it's actually giant. And I really like that. And th that'll actually have another uh, part later on in the game as well. But... I have one-shot his entire team. And I'm still below. This is a great game, guys. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a lot easier than I, than I thought it would be. And actually, here coming up, we'll see that he actually has roots in... Uh, anime too. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Gotta give my friend a high five with his tail. I got the Boulder badge. With the Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. Team can be used as many times as you like, so use them on any Pokemon you want. Yeah. Oh, and then you talk to him again, he's like, There are all kinds of people in this huge world of ours. Some have their Pokemon battle, some just like to raise them. I'm hard at work here to learn how to become a Pokemon breeder, which was actually his goal in the anime. So I don't actually remember um, if that was also the case in the... Uh, in the... In, in, in the games, but I know it's from the anime. So now you can see the little Pikachu icon in the bottom left corner. With that, if I shake the nunchuck, or yeah, it's a nunchuck to me still, it's a, the joint, <laughs> the joint con. I can uh, interact with my with my Pokemon after doing fun stuff. So some more rub, belly rubs. And, uh, it's just so adorable. Look how adorable he is and happy. Oh, I don't know what that other option is yet. Or, sorry, um, I'm Pokemon Chin material. Now this, I like. Hey, you there, newbie. You gotta be Dan, right? I'm always right. I'm blue. Yeah. The two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, just like I did once. Came to check me out. So, they have blue from the original game, so that's exciting. Got five ray balls. Yay! That's a Pokedex, right? <laughs> He's 
And sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my gramps. I feel the same way. Smell you later, newbie. All right, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to get done in this episode. Beat that gym really freaking quickly and meet Blue and show a little bit about that uh, about the museum. So thank you guys so much for watching. This will be a pretty good episode, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Bye-bye.